Okay, so it is the second day of the conference and obviously things are going really well because it's the second day and I hadn't filmed anything the first day. It's kind of crazy. I like got lost. I, I didn't get lost. I lost my wallet and I couldn't find it. And I checked my backpack. I checked all the places I normally put it. Um, I didn't check the car, but I thought, okay, maybe I just left it in the car. My husband, Josh, checked the car, not there. He found it in my backpack. I don't know why it was there. But we're gonna go eat and I'll kind of show you what we're doing tonight. It's gonna be super fun. Gonna get some Greek, go on a walk, go see a temple, maybe do more. Definitely though, about to experience the best thing about vacations coming up. Okay. Wow, already eating most of it because it was so good. Look at this beautiful view. Traffic. <laughs> the flowers are really nice. I like the food. Can you, oh, notice that? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's so loud. I just get like less hungry because. That's five. or five like motorcycles. They're so cool. <laughs> anyway, if you're ever in Sandy, slap fish is good. But they only give you three fried fish for the fish and chips, so just keep that in mind. But I liked my Poke Bowl. Very good. So look at this Target. It's fancy. It's really fancy. Okay, so I got some and that little look at how nice that looks i'm pretty dedicated to like two youtubers the contis so they recommend smart sweets and i actually really like them josh is more into actual candy um but i don't know i think the smart sweets actually taste better especially because sometimes candy makes me feel really sick like the with when it has too much sugar. So I'm bringing them to the hotel. Ooh. Why is the lighting like that? We I just parted at our hotel. But I I'm I feel so bad. So I got the treats and I was driving back. And seriously it's the most simplest way to get back. It just goes around a mall. And there's this one part where like you turn left and there's like a separate section for people to turn right. And then they kind of, if you're both going straight or right at the next place after you've turned, <laughs> you like kind of merge into that single lane. So anyway, I turned left and there were a ton of cars that were turning right, but I was the only one turning left. So then like I jumped ahead of all these cars because someone let me in and I was really grateful they let me in. But the single lane is just straight and right. And I happen to be one of the few that is actually going back to a hotel. So this nice dude let me in. But I was going straight and he was going right. And most of the cars after him were going right. And it was a red light. So I literally held up everyone. I just felt so bad about it. And I know that like. It's just how the road works but I still was like oh my gosh this poor dude just let me in and now he has to wait for the light to turn green when which is I'm not saying don't let people in but I just wish there would have been another lane <laughs> civil and construction majors graduates people in charge of roads I highly recommend having a straight lane be separate from a right turn lane especially because that light had two left turn lanes so i mean maybe they must have analyzed the traffic they probably knew but it's just like look into canada canada i feel like they have 
the right lanes figured out. At least in Alberta where I was at when I was there. Okay, that's it. Time to forget about it. Go have fun. Okay. Got the stuff. I did not have my key card. Yes. Every night. Sorry. Okay. Do not like this one. Wait. Do like this one. Don't like this one. I'm back home and I still have more conference to attend to. I We just spent two nights at the hotel to save on money. And the next two nights, I'll be staying at home and then driving up and driving back down. Kind of like got a mini workcation in. But I am so tired. Uh, so I think I'm going to crash. Today was good. I saw an editor and she read the first 750 words of my manuscript and really liked it. Uh, she gave a few tips uh, that were really helpful and I'm actually kind of excited about. And then tomorrow my group is going to tell me what they thought on my book because they read it and the author that I'm working with read it. And I'm just really excited, so wish me luck. <laughs> okay, hi guys. Sorry, I know all of these videos are very like touch and go. Bye. I should video throughout the day, I just don't really think of it. Today was great because we had the publisher of a f Today was great. <laughs> Today was great. Oh. We had the founder of a publishing company come and talk to us and he was so helpful because he actually was willing to look at like picture book manuscripts uh he talked to me about uh, an idea that i have for <laughs> another project um for younger readers and it was just super awesome and really great guy so glad that we got to know him and so glad to have made that connection because he was excited about the stuff that i was excited about for picture books and um just like also what's really cool about their company is they plant trees and they also give books away to those who um, just have less access to books and don't have the opportunity to read as much or to even learn to read sometimes. So it's just absolutely fantastic. I loved the chance to meet him and it just like encouraged me a lot. I hope I never again post anything so low quality because this is just like not good. But we... I need to figure out what to eat, and I don't know if anyone's ever been like this, but I just like... I like dinner time has been coming around, and I'm just like, mm. and I don't know, I just don't care. <laughs> like, I'll just go hang out with someone, or play the guitar, or write, or read, which is not good, because you do need to eat. I think part of it is because I've been training less and so it's like I need, my body is recognizing that I'm not spending as much energy, so I don't need as much fuel, but I mean I still need to eat dinner. Everyone should be eating dinner. Um, it's like the opposite of the people who say they wake up in the morning and they just don't really feel like eating breakfast. They're not breakfast people. It's really weird. I'm like, all of a sudden, like, yeah, I'm not much of a dinner person. <laughs> um, which is, again, not normal. But anyway, I'm gonna try to figure out something to eat. Today we started critiquing my story. We do about, like, two stories a day. And today was supposed to be the last day to critique stories, so obviously it was like me and one other girl left. Um, and I'm actually friends with this girl, which is fun. Uh, and I've read her 
stuff already, so it was kind of cool that we ended up on the same day. Can't get it out. I thought that I would end up going first because my mine was longer, but he actually had the other girl go first. And so my friend, like, we got to spend a lot of time on hers, and um, it was really great, but I was, like, watching the clock, and there was less and less time left until our group session would be done, and we move on to lunch, and then we move on to the afternoon classes, and so <laughs> we got to mine, and he's like, we'll go over the good stuff today. And then tomorrow we'll finish going over yours, which means tomorrow we'll go over the critiques. And then after the critiques are finished, I can open my mouth because I have to stay silent while I hear all of those things. And then I can start asking questions about everything people said. So, I mean, pros and cons, like the good thing is I just got to hear a bunch of good stuff about what people liked about my manuscript today. Con is what I really want to hear is the bad stuff. <laughs> Because I'm like, I feel like I'm so close to sending this out to agents, but like I can't do that if I won't hear the final, the final word, you know. Um, but it's really good because my uh, mentor, the author who taught this class, J. Scott Savage, great dude, he was saying that the topic and everything that I put into is like really applicable to the market right now. There's a big market for it, so very sellable, which means it'll be more appealing to agents, which means it'll be more appealing to editors. Um, the editor who already looked at the first 150 words liked it, so that gives me hope for other editors. And then more appealing to like the publishing company. So it was pretty cool. <laughs> Like, also, this, you just never know, you know? Could be 10 years down the road, and I get my first book published, and it might not be this book. <sighs> but I actually, I have a lot of high hopes for this, and this conference has been really great. <sighs> and that was a long tangent. We'll be back. Tomorrow I'll get my critiques. I'm looking forward to those. Um, I don't think I'll have to make any, like, major plot changes or anything that would take me a long time to sort out because I have gone through this with like um, multiple workshop groups and I've had some beta readers for it too so all in all I think it should be good to go um and I guess that's today's update I'm gonna go hang out with my friend after I eat food. I will eat more than a rice cake. I'll eat. I'll, <laughs> I'll figure that out. I still don't know what though. Uh, and uh, I think it's because I'm. I get home and I'm just feeling so lazy after sitting in a high school for nine and a half hours. Like they don't even make teenagers do that. They do give us an hour and a half lunch, so it's a little different, but still, you get it. I'm tired. <laughs> Enough about how I'm tired. <laughs> I'll give you more updates tomorrow. Um, Maybe I'll have to come back and say, sorry guys, it's totally wrong. I have to change so much. Or maybe I'll say, guys, it's coming. It's good. I don't know. I'll let you know. Okay guys, today is the last day of my conference. It's very bright. I like want to do this, but then you guys can't see me. Anyway, I'm about to go in and uh, we'll start off with critiquing my piece and then I'll ask my questions and then it's pretty much it. Just talk about questions we have about the industry and uh, yeah then we'll go there will be prizes and book selling and all of that this afternoon but it's wrapping up so wish me luck i hope that i get some good feedback but i also hope i don't have to change my whole story but i will if i need to
because I want this to be as best as possible. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. ...about anything you want so that I can try to cover them, and then I'll be here till 12.30, but I just want to...